Hey, it's Teresa with My Lice Advice, and today we're talking about lice and blonde hair. We're gonna look at lice bugs and blonde hair and lice eggs and nits and blonde hair. Let's get to it. Before getting started, just so you know who I am, my name's Teresa with MyLiceAdvice.com, and I'm a registered nurse, and I actually specialize in head lice. So if in this video you discover lice, don't freak out. Just go to MyLiceAdvice.com, I have step-by-step -step videos. I'll walk you through how to get rid of it. Okay, let's talk about lice and blonde hair. I'm glad we're talking about this because finding lice bugs in your hair is hard for anybody, but it's especially hard for people with blonde hair and you're gonna learn why. First, let's talk about lice bugs. So lice bugs are tiny. They can be all different sizes depending on how old they are. So when they first hatch, they're so tiny, they're almost invisible. You usually don't see those ones. As they grow up to be adults, then they get big enough that you can see them. And that's when they're the size of a sesame seed. So it's more typical to see the adult bugs than the baby bugs. And this is what they look like. They have six legs that are attached to the top half of their body here. It sometimes can appear as if they have wings, but they don't. The reason why it can look like they have wings is because a lot of times they're translucent looking see-through and you can see this black line in the middle. That's actually their stomach and their intestines that you can see through their translucent body. So a lot of people assume that if they have lice, they're gonna find tons of bugs. But even for people that have a full lice infestation, that's not necessarily true. First off, like I said, when they're babies, they're so small, you can't see them. But the other thing that they do is that they actually blend in with the color of hair. So for example, do you see the lice bug in this picture here? There it is right there. So I want to compare lice that I find in someone with black hair to lice in someone with blonde hair. Here's a picture of someone with black hair and head lice. You can see that the head lice are actually black looking. They become darker to blend in with that hair. Whereas this is somebody with blonde hair. You can see that the head lice is actually lighter in this case. The bugs themselves are more translucent, they blend in better. So typically with somebody with blonde hair, you're gonna find these more see-through translucent bugs or a very light brown bug or a tan bug. So in this picture, I have different lice bugs from different people's hair. And over here, these are lice bugs that I pulled out of somebody with dark hair. And these are lice bugs that I pulled out of somebody with light hair. And then you'll also see this red bug. Head lice feed on your blood. And right after they feed, they're typically this red color. So if you see that kind of lice, that's what it is. So because lice bugs are so good at blending in with the hair, when you're looking for lice on somebody with blonde hair, you really want to be looking for lice eggs. And lice eggs are also known as nits. I use those two words interchangeably, lice eggs and nits. And these are what they sound like they are. Lice bugs lay little eggs in the hair. Each of these little eggs has one bug inside of it that will eventually hatch, and that's how they keep reinfesting the hair. Lice eggs are actually glued onto the hair strand, meaning they don't move around, they don't fall off, and because they're stuck on a single hair strand, it's a lot easier to see them in blonde hair than it is to see lice bugs themselves. The telltale sign of something being a lice egg is that it's gonna be stuck on the hair strand. Like I said, it's glued. You actually have to pull it down the hair strand manually between two fingers like this. Typically people talk about lice eggs being white, but that's not really true, especially in someone with blonde hair. What you're gonna be looking for are these dark, brown or almost black lice eggs in the hair. You can see that darker lice egg in the blonde hair pretty easily. The best places to look for these lice eggs are in the hot spots. Now the hot spots are the places that lice typically lay their lice eggs and they are behind the ears and at the nape of the neck. So examine those areas 
and looking for what looks like dirt or coffee grounds in your blonde haired child. Now, how you really examine whether or not something's a lice egg is you actually put your two fingers, you pinch that lice egg, and you try and pull it all the way down the hair strand. If it's a lice egg, it will truly be glued on and you'll have to manually bring it all the way down the hair strand. I have an amazing video tutorial of how to check for lice and I walk you through just step by step. So if you're not sure whether or not your blonde haired child has head lice, go to my website, myliceadvice.com and just follow along with that video. I'll put a link in the description below. Now, if you already know that you have lice or you discover that you have lice, one thing I wanna make sure you're aware of is that head lice have become immune to lice kits and home remedies that used to work in the past. And so it's pretty typical for people to have head lice come back over and over because they never get rid of it with those over-the-counter kits or home remedies. And so if you have head lice, Go to my website, myliceadvice.com. I actually have a step-by-step -step video system. You just follow along the videos and by the end of them, you'll be done with lice and it won't ever come back again. And I'll put a link for that in the description below. So just really quick, let's sum up lice and blonde hair. Now remember, they're all different sizes. You're not gonna see the babies. And in blonde hair, they're gonna be pretty translucent or tan. They're gonna blend right in with the hair. It's very difficult to see them. Now, the lice eggs are easier to see because in blonde hair, you're gonna see the darker lice eggs. And so you're gonna look for those darker lice eggs in the hair. They typically look like dirt or coffee grounds, but remember they're not gonna pull down the hair strand. If you wanna know how to check for head lice, go to my free video tutorial that's called How to Check for Lice. You can find a link in the description below. And if you do have lice and you'd like some help, then head over to myliceadvice.com. There's loads of free resources there, including a free house cleaning checklist specific to head lice. So that's it for today. Be sure to like, and subscribe below. And if you have a comment, feel free to leave a comment. And if you have discovered lice, then head over there and check out that step-by-step -step video system. I'll see you there.